Okay, let's uh, let's get his shoe size right. And now they look like Sha Shaquille O'Neal shoes, and he's probably wearing toddler shoes or baby shoes. So, okay, let's uh, slide. Whoa, did not connect those. Undo that. Undo that. Move it back one more. One more. Oh, yeah. That was my fault. Okay. Great. Now let's uh marquee select. We group it. So now we can move it over. Let's switch it over to one millimeter snaps and use my left arrow key and just move it closer to his body. So now I'm going to hold the shift key, the left mouse button, and select the corner. And I'm going to push down at uniform scales. slide this over and I'm going to hit the F key to zoom in all right so I'm just gonna see how this looks Put it in place. You don't really see their ankles. So let's see how that looks. I think it's too long. So let's look at our reference. Yeah, definitely looks too long. Let's uh, go back, see if we can see any more. Yeah, it looks like it could be taller. Hi, taller up and but shorter but yeah we got not bad we got a little heel there that we could put in as well so trying to get a side view just to get a better view of how long their foot their feet are Yeah, I could probably definitely go shorter. All right, so select the control key there. That feels better. Maybe just a little more. And actually, I'm going to pull it up. Just slide that down. Let's look at our that's maybe not that high. <laughs> really little feet. Okay, so let's pull this down again. It's a little too low, so let's go to 0.5, just pull it up 0.5, there, okay, switch it back to 1, okay, Little 
smaller. So let's go to point point two five. select all of them here and let's move him down onto the shoe Pretty close. I'm worried about going small. It could go smaller, but you have to be concerned about 3D printing this. And we go too small, it'll have a hard time printing it. But already we need to ungroup it. And we need to make sure the sole is in one millimeter thick. So. to 0.5 and let's select this part and then go down 0.25 there we go so it's 0.75 millimeters. Okay, and then let's uh, lift the shoe up a little bit. Again, I'm doing this because the uh, limitations of the 3D printers. Uh, you can go about 0.7 in thickness. You go under that and you can't print it. So I'm trying to keep that in mind when I'm designing and modeling this to minimize how much I have to go back and forth with the printers so I could probably lift him up a little bit um, or we can just Look pretty good. Okay. Get the idea. Could probably squash this a little bit. There we go. Feels a little better. You keep looking around. It just—it's nice to see it from different angles to see how it feels. Object. Look at this one. Oh, yeah, feels pretty good. Can't get this kind of detail because the printer won't print it. At least not small enough. So we make this really big, we could put tons of uh, detail on it, but then you can't afford to buy it. <laughs> so it's it's definitely a balancing act between what's affordable and what's printable always going back and forth okay so um, I'm gonna regroup these group 
and I'm going to duplicate, edit, duplicate, and I'm going to use the arrow button. I'm going to switch over first to one millimeter and let's see. Probably move that over 0.25. Now it might help if I select it. Now I'll do it. There we go. Probably just a little, little more. Yeah, that feels better. Okay. He has feet. <laughs> All right, so in the next video, we're going to start to put his arms in. Thanks for watching. And if you like what you see and you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe.